Hello world! Today I've got for you a battle of epic proportions where I pit my favorite concealer of the moment, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, against a new contender, the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. <laughs> Hey everybody, Shelly here, and today I've got for you another Concealer Battle Royale. So if you've been following along for a little while, you might have seen my high-end Concealer Battle Royale where I put eight different high-end concealers to the test against each other to come up with a winner. And it was very close at the top end of the spectrum. The two top contenders were the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which did edge out NARS just a bit. And this has been my favorite concealer since that time. I really, really enjoy this concealer. Then came along this new concealer from Tarte called, the name is so weird, but it is the Shape Tape Contour Concealer. And I tried this out and I thought, Whoa, Nelly, this stuff is kind of good. So let me just compare them a little bit. The first thing I like is that both of them have shades that are light enough for this pale pirate's face. The shade that I have in the Urban Decay Naked Skin is Fair Neutral, and the shade that I have in the Tarte Concealer is Fair. And if I put them side by side, let's see if we can get the bottles so that you can see the clear part. They're very close in tone. The Tarte might be a tiny bit more fair, which I am never going to complain about because it is really hard to find concealers light enough, especially when it comes to be the winter time, for this face. Let me swatch them next to each other. And you'll see that they are both neutral to cool on the undertone. The Urban Decay is, is labeled as neutral, and while the Tarte is not labeled either way. Uh, it does have a, a neutral leaning to it. So this one here is the Urban Decay and this one is the Tarte. Now if you look closely you'll see actually the Urban Decay has almost a slightly more pink undertone to it so I would say it leans a little more toward the cool side than the Tarte. But I would say they, they both are very fair and leaning toward cool, if anything. Uh, neutral to cool. Which is good because I am neutral with cool undertones. And they both work really well for me. They, In my experience, I've been wearing the Tarte for about a week now, regularly. In my experience, they they both hold up really well over time. They both look really nice when applied, so I'm wearing them today, and I've got the Urban Decay on my left eye, and the Tarte on my right eye, and I just applied these the way I would normally apply my concealers. I applied my foundation first, I am wearing the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade porcelain and then I applied my concealer on top using a dampened beauty blender to blend it out. I then set it with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Translucent Powder. I don't really bake my under eye but I use a little bit more powder than I need on my under eye and then once I finish letting that sit and then I finish whatever makeup I have to finish and then I just brush off the excess, but there's not really a lot of excess. I just, it's like a pseudo bake. If I fully full on bake, it tends to actually bring out the lines and creases under my eyes and I don't want that. So that is the application process that I went through to apply these concealers. I am going to go about my day and I will come back and check in and we're going to see how they compare at the end of the day. Let me zoom you guys in so you can get a close-up on what they look like fresh out of the gate. Here's your creepy up-close look. So, on the left here, this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin.
And on the right, we've got the tart. Hey everybody, five hour check in here. And if I look up close at both of these concealers, I'd say they're neck and neck right now. So as is pretty normal for me, as my skin starts to get drier throughout the day, I start to be able to see some of the lines under my eyes, but neither one of these concealers are settling into those lines. The, the texture is a little bit visible, but neither one is settling into them. The Tarte is clinging just a little bit to a dry patch I've got at the inner corner of this eye, whereas the Urban Decay does not seem to be clinging to any dry patch. However, the coverage on the Tarte side seems to be holding up just a little better in terms of the purple coming through compared to the Urban Decay side. So that sounds like a pretty even race to me. Let me zoom you guys in. You can see where we're at. The Urban Decay side and the Tarte side. Final check-in. It has been a about nine and a half hours since I applied my makeup and these concealers. Remember we've got Urban Decay on this side, Tarte on this side, and I'm going to say that these concealers have worn just about identically to each other. They're both fading at this point. You can see a bit of the purple coming through under both of my eyes. The Dryness didn't get any worse on the Tarte side, and honestly, since the five hour mark, if I look at both sides now, I can see more dryness on the Urban Decay side, so I'm going to say that the Tarte is probably just a smidge more hydrating or less drying, whichever way you want to look at it, but I can see the texture and the lines under my eyes on, on both sides, which you know, at the nine and a half, ten hour mark, that's that's par for the course. That's that's better than I can expect from most concealers out in the world. In fact, I haven't found one that that isn't kind of conking out on me without any touch ups at this point in the day. Um, I think part of that too is I have to set my concealer with powder to prevent it from creasing into my fine lines, but the powder also dries me out. So I'm still in the hunt for a powder that isn't drying. Why, whenever I sit down, so my filming area in my vanity is right next to my bathroom where the cats like to chase each other in the bathtub whenever I sit down to film. Sorry, I just had an itch fest on my nose. Oh my god, it's itchy all of a sudden. Something bit me on my neck earlier today. That's great too. I don't know what's going on. Final verdict, I'm going to say I love these concealers equally. This Tarte really does stand up to my perennial favorite Urban Decay Naked Skin. I think I'm very happy that I could pick either one and have a really good concealer day. I'm impressed with the Tarte. I've compared a lot of different concealers to this Urban Decay and none of them have, have come close aside from the NARS. I'm gonna say the Tarte concealer it's a win. It's good stuff. I'm I'm not going to throw away my Urban Decay. I'm going to use them both. I would say they are equally both my favorites right now. And we'll see how the hydration goes with the Tarte. It, it might win me over completely one of these days. Thanks a lot for stopping by, spending a little bit of your day here with me, checking out makeup and geeking out over these beauty products. I appreciate your time. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and rest of your week. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.